Hello friends, I hope all of you are doing well. I've started with series of videos. I'll be uploading it every week. This is all about Power Platforms. This is for the beginners. Uh, we'll be learning about Power Apps and Power Automate. So please subscribe to the channel to get updates of newly uploaded videos. Also in the description box below, you will find the links to various playlists. It's about Power Apps, Power Automate, SharePoint Online. Uh, so let's start with today's video. In this video, we are going to learn about how to build a Hello World app in the Power Apps app. Uh, so we'll be quickly going through uh, from where you can start developing the app, and we'll navigate. I'll navigate you through the Power App Studio, all the menus, what all options are there. Then we'll look at the default controls. We'll show a welcome message, how to preview save publish and place all the basic stuff what you what you need to start with your first app will be going through all of it okay so let's navigate to office 365 portal that's where uh, is your home page of office 365 you can go to waffle icon here and navigate to power apps this will open a maker portal it's called maker portal or it's called power app studio it is make.powerapp.com you can navigate to this uh, to this portal using you can directly type the url as well uh, even if you type web.powerapp.com it will take you to this page only uh, the same url now here you will see uh, this is how it looks from the apps once you click on the apps you can see what are the apps you have already created or the apps which are shared with you where you are uh, marked as owner if you want to create new app click on create there are multiple options here either there are templates available you can see here um, there are a few templates available like fundraiser asset checkout uh, you can see all the templates here office there are some templates you can capture the meetings leave management plenty of templates available or you can start uh, connecting directly to your data source or you can start with the blank so here we'll be starting with the blank app once you do that it is asking you which one you want to create there are a few types here uh, as we as we have seen before in the power apps basic video there are a few types of uh, app which you can create first is canvas app second one is model driven and then there it is a portal power as portal you can create so we'll be mostly will be working on canvas app so i'll hit this button will create a canvas app model driven app it is needed if you want to connect to dataverse and if you want to uh, customize something in the dynamics 365 portals this is for if you want to create an external facing low code uh, website canvas app is mainly what you use to automate any process in your organization once you click on that it will ask you whether what layout you are looking for a tablet or phone you can decide this depending on your what kind of audience you have if you want it to be let me just name it you have to put the name here hello world app uh, if you want to design it for the office users uh, and they want they are going to use it on the browser laptop then you can uh, choose as a tablet if your users are outside and they they have phone or they are going to use it on the phone then you can choose the layout as phone so let's go ahead and hit the tablet option and create so this will create an app for you wherein you can see the canvas uh, now this is the screen default screen is added in here this is the power app studio where you are actually uh, doing all the stuff here you are going to create uh, or design your app here now I'll just take you through the, all this navigation. Uh, on the left side, you have uh, the tree view where you will see all the screens and controls. We don't have controls added here. This is just a screen. Uh, you can add new screens from here. There are some options here, blank, split. Uh, here you can see more uh, templates are there for the screen as well, like su success screen. Uh, meeting screen calendar screen so let's say if I hit the scrollable usually I prefer scrollable screen 
because it comes with this uh, layout header and you can add as much content as you want or want and the scroll bar will appear automatically so i'll just delete this you have to right click on this to get the menu here or you can click on this option here to get uh, the more actions for particular control or screen so you can delete it you can duplicate the screen uh, and there are plenty of other options rename move down so whichever screen is here on the top that will be the first screen when you open the app so if you want to change that you have to just move it up now this will be the first screen when you run that so i'll just delete this screen now on the left side you can see there are some options here if you click on this open expand this menu insert data here you can upload the media files like you want to have audio video images in the data here is the if you want to connect to your data source you have to do it from here if you want to trigger any flow or from power automate you can add it from here there are some tools available monitor and test as i said before in earlier video you can use these tools to debug your app performance if you if you have some facing some issues you can use this and on the insert tab you have a lot of controls the same menu is here also insert tab on the top you can add screens label buttons there are all these controls which you, which you can add uh, on your screen okay so that's the left side menu and you can just close it click on it again preview now on the top you can see uh, here you can add screens here there are themes color themes available you can change the color themes and automatically all your screens and controls theme will get changed depending on your organization uh, theme or standards you can choose the theme then in the insert tab you have all these controls you can let's say if i select this you can click on this a label will get added then a button will get added here similarly you have html text label text input rich text editor is also there you have drop down combo box so many controls are there it's like more than 50 controls are available here you have forms edit form view form uh, you have camera control image video audio there are some basic charts also there icons are also there like if you want to have insert icon add new record you can use these icons you can build your own component also let's say you want to combine a button with icon like this something like this maybe on top of it and you want to create uh, your own control so you can do that you can combine this and create your own component those components will appear in this list uh, there are some this you can build your own you use your AI builder and build your own models to process the images and you have gallery control you have data tables so we'll be looking at these uh, in upcoming videos in detail now once you add your control once you design your screen and forms uh, on the right side whenever you choose a control either you choose a screen or you select a specific control you will see the property section on the right side so this is a property section this is a navigation menu of your whole screens and controls on the left side on the top you have uh, option to insert all the controls whatever you want and on the right side you have properties window now here you can define okay where do you want to position it x y width height color background border anything whatever you want to change uh, or apply the style to it so in html we have all the style tags you can do all of it here uh, from this properties window there are some advanced properties also same properties uh, options is available here also like if you see on this drop down menu here also you can find same properties for example you have a text here which is button you can change it from here i'll make it uh, submit so this will get changed and from this menu also you have option to change it let's say submit this record so there are two options to change the properties of any control either you do it from here you select what property you want to change for example you want to change the field which is background color of it 
you can put that RGBA here or go to home and click on field here also you have option in the home tab so there are multiple ways from where you can change the properties of your control you can change the font size make it bold or uh, change the font family change the font color feel let's say I'll make it like this so this is one option from home tab this is second option from this drop down menu and this is third option on the right side uh, properties window now that was about this uh, studio where uh, the navigation menu now let's just let's just make it a hello world app let's just add few things here welcome screen this is my label you can see here on the left side you can choose the control text property I'm changing it to welcome screen I don't want this button I'll just delete it you can use a delete uh, button on your keyboard also I'll just add a welcome message here I'll just drag it welcome and you can concatenate multiple strings using ampersand user is a function we'll see all this in detail in upcoming videos uh, this user function will give you the logged in user's name dot full name this will give you the display name welcome uh, the username and again we'll have ampersand we'll add exclamatory mark here today is we'll add today's date here so you can use today function this will give you the date so if you see here now I'll just change the font size to just make it big you can make it semi bold and now there's one more option here I'll just make this now here you can see this is the name of your app here this will app checker will tell you if there are any errors if you click on it it will show you if there are any errors in the formula anywhere there are undo and redo options here if you do something by mistake you want to undo you can do it from here this is a preview option you just click on it and this is how it will look actually the app will look uh, when you run it you can close the preview from here and there are some options here you can share this app uh, with the other users now from here uh, whatever you see on the left side almost all those options are here on the top navigation bar also so you can see here in the view tab you have data source media collection variables here also you have data media in this collection and variables you will be able to see all the variables and collections which you have used in your app you can see the where they are used where they are referred in the action you can see uh, you can connect it to the power automate if you want to uh, connect or, or call or trigger the flow from your app and then you have settings from the settings you can change the app icon change the background field color I'll, I'll tell you where it appears just keep a note of this uh, icon and this background color so that is your oh, hello world app uh, let's just do one thing now let's just click on file and you have to save it to cloud uh, if you save it to computer of course the other users won't be able to access it so you have to save it to the cloud just click on save this will save the app now this is saved as a draft mode in order to make it available to all the users you have to share it okay this was first time uh, you had saved it though it is automatically published so if you make some change in this let me just change this text quickly I'll just add a space here and you can see the space is added now you can save it so while saving you can add the comments I'll just save it and you can publish it so once it is published then only it will be available to all the users now we have uh, created app we have done preview we have saved it we need to share it uh, with the users whoever wants to run it now what I'll do I'll just close this window so we are just closing the power app studio 
and we are back to the power apps portal here uh, where you can see you should be able to see your app i'll just refresh it again the hello world app which we just had created it should appear in this list okay now you can see it's here already hello world app what you need to do is to play it or if you want to share this with the other users you can go to details and copy this link and share it with the users so they can access it if you put the link here so there are two options either you put the link or directly you can go here and click on play option this will also open the same thing now this is this was the, our screen and you can see it this is a welcome message now i'll just run it again just to show you the you can see this background color and the icon it will quickly disappear i'll just open it again that's the place uh, from the setting you can change the background color and icon well that's all in this video we have seen all the basic things how you can create hello world app and save it preview it publish it how to run it uh we'll come up come up with more videos like this uh please subscribe to the channel if you want uh, updates uh, of new videos thank you so much for watching thank you bye bye